respected dignitaries on the dais, today's chief guest, Dr. Anil Kumar Hawaldar, Principal RL Law College, Chairman Shri Siddharud Sangoli, Satsanskar International School, Principal Irgoda Patil, Mentor Shri Vijay Kumar, all the teachers, parents, my dear students, and media brothers. Today, I'm not going to make a terribly long speech because I know the mood is one of celebration. I think there is going to be dance, music, cultural programs, which the students are, as well as the parents also eagerly waiting for. We witnessed an impressive start to this function with the presentation of annual report, which showcased all the attributes, all the activities of the school, which the school has conducted with lots of originality and creativity, which has brought an illumination to this function. As you, all of you know, Satsanskar International School, while sitting there in the guest room, we were talking, Chairman Sangoli sir said, ours is a startup school, we have to still go a long, long way. In front of RL Law College, which is an old, prestigious, reputed college. True. But at the same time, I would like to say that the old age reputed colleges in the beginning were also startup schools or colleges or institutions for that matter. This school is really doing wonderful job. You know, my daughter is also studying in this school. Why I put my daughter in this school? Because the school has imbibed culture and tradition, which we rarely see in the schools nowadays. So I'm sure this school will also one day be a reputed, an extraordinary school in the long way. For anybody to achieve something, success will not come immediately. As the English poet Robert Frost says, the woods are deep and we have to still go a long, long way. Miles, miles together. So in the same way for anybody, whether it is an institution, whether it is a student, a person, you have to put hard work and then you will succeed. Well, any school or for that matter any institution, educational institution, the primary task is imparting education. But the meaning of education is not just acquiring knowledge, acquiring information, getting degree or getting job. It is much more. Because today or earlier, education was mugging up what is there in the textbook, reciting what the teachers have told in the classroom. But mugging up is uh, not at all required because you get all the information on Google just with the touch of a screen or two clicks on the mouse, you'll get all the information. But you have to learn in a school what the Google does not tell you. So the teachers should emphasize on this. So I tell the teachers to teach the students not what to think, but how to think. Because after leaving the school, when the student comes out in the world, school is not just a school. 
after the education so you will be facing so many things in this new world this competitive world unfamiliar information because when you come out you have to deal with unfamiliar information which is not there in the textbook which you cannot prepare in advance you can prepare for the school exams in advance you study or you mug up or you prepare of course school exams are also important but but there is a bigger examination that is called life so the student has to learn how to cope up with things how to face challenges how to face unfamiliar situation so that is that should be taught to the students in the school and i'm sure this school is doing that work and i am very proud of it so i would like to share a few thoughts with the parents the parents are present here about the children bringing up children is a very difficult task nowadays earlier it was not so when we were young our age or our generation people when that was uh, during uh, 1970s or 80s i am talking about uh, bringing up children was not that difficult it was very easy just giving birth and somehow we grew up on our own but now the parents are facing lots of problems especially with feeding the child child is not interested in eating food so what do you do just push a mobile in the kids hand so the child is occupied you feed the child so nowadays people are spending everybody is spending more time on mobile everybody is addicted to mobile parents as well as children and parents are responsible for this no doubt so that's why the screen time especially for younger kids when they are in primary nursery it is not at all required because mobiles are very uh, watching mobile continuously it is very hazardous you know for the growing kid that's why so what do you do then take away the mobile so instead of while feeding the child or while making put the child to sleep uh, well you may find it very uh, silly also when we were young our parents used to tell us stories or sing lullabies but lullabies nowadays i think nobody will do but at least you can tell uh, interesting stories or uh, any interesting anecdotes while the child is eating the food so that the mobile addiction will be reduced to a greater level and also for the maybe high school or uh, for college students it is almost inevitable but the disadvantages you know how the risks are there the dangers are there the danger of mobile all of us know but still the implementation part is very poor you know that uh, when you are watching mobile you just uh, just sit in a one place you don't run around so the physical activity is zero and then there is obesity and then the radiation emitted from the screen it affects the brain as well as eyes and moreover distance from your loved ones so so what is the need of the hour then the parents have to spend time with their children not just quality time quantity time also everybody says quality time quality time but you give quality time only half an hour a day what is the use quantity time is equally important you have to spend your time the parents especially the mother you spend your time with the children and build a strong bond shower your love and affection so the fe child feels safe confident and the children will share their feelings the problems with you so that you can suggest solutions or else the children will feel if you don't spend time with them you don't talk to them 
then they feel detached they hide things they end up in hardships and difficulties so the parents are you have to spend time with them and uh, feel confidence in them so a confident child will definitely face any situation in the world so at the same time once again i would like to tell the teachers also how do you teach already i told you how to think not just what to think also a well filled mind is not enough but a well formed mind is very important you just by mugging up you fill your mind and you have lots of information but you don't know how to cope up with the situation difficult situation challenges but a well formed mind when you come out can face anything that comes up so the jobs maybe after 20 30 years the jobs which we are seeing now may not be there they may not exist some new jobs may come up and you just can't imagine what kind of jobs will be there what kind of uh, uh, situation will be there so that's why you have to have that aptitude that understanding that confidence which is very important to cope up with that unfamiliar information unfamiliar situation so here i can see the parents as well as the teachers of sat sanskar international school are working they are joining their hands together to work and putting the children on the right path what is the right path apart from academics the students must also be taught qualities like human values gratitude compassion and a care for the uh, environment responsibility for the society all these are qualities are very very essential without them you just very difficult to imagine a good world a beautiful world it is it will be barren of all the um, humanitarian values so today the school is doing all this imbibing a very good values in the students that we can see in this atmosphere the annual day celebration is aptly very properly named samrama the mood is of samrama you can see samrama everywhere students parents teachers everybody is very joyous samrama is there so everybody is doing a wonderful job parents teachers together putting their children on the right path and thereby contributing to the nation thank you jai hind